In this problem, a mass M is hung from this piston and there is a fluid inside, a gas inside the piston cylinder device. As you can intuitively understand, the, the action of this mass will be to reduce the pressure inside. The outside pressure is 100 kPa and the question is what should be the mass M so that the inside pressure becomes 50 kPa. Temperature inside the, of the gas is also supplied. So we start with a free body diagram of the piston. Obviously the piston is in mechanical equilibrium. So the force on it from top and bottom must be equal. From the top, okay, first of all, the mass is pulling it down with a force of this much, so many kilonewton. And the pressure outside is pushing it up with a force of P0 times A and the pressure inside some of many people will intuitively say you know what there's a vacuum inside it's going to pull the piston up nothing is further from the truth pressure is a compressive force per unit area it's always pushes pressure can never pull so the pressure inside is going to push the piston down Uh, suppose the in inside pressure is Pi, then this would be the force downwards. So the, n the net downward force is Mg over 1000 plus Pi A, and the net upward force is this, all in kilonewton. Now that we have a balance of force, the vertical force balance, because this must be true because the piston is not accelerating so upward force must be equals downward force and solving uh, rearranging this equation we can write mg equals area times p0 minus pi times thousand so therefore the mass can be obtained as uh, it is P0 minus Pi times the area divided by G, which is 100 minus 50, and the area is 0 0.5, and if we take G equals 9.81, that should give us 2548 kilogram. That's quite a bit of mass. Think about it. Remember our benchmark for mass, 100 kg, the football player, a football player has a mass of about 100 kg, so 25 people, 25 football player uh, can be hanging on this rope and the pressure inside will still not be 50 kPa. So imagine that gives you an idea about how big is the atmospheric pressure, 100 kPa, because it is this atmospheric pressure uh, that is pushing this piston up. So, you know, the variation of the problem could be, does it matter what the gas inside? Is it nitrogen or oxygen? The answer is no, it doesn't matter. Does it matter what the temperature is inside? Nope, it doesn't matter. What if, uh, if I say, you know, some, a little gas, you know, leaks in from outside and, and, and then you plug, plug the leak, will it change the balance? Always you come back to this free body diagram of the piston and you can see that as long as the force balance remains the same, the answer cannot change. So the answer is that there will be a, a basically a mass of this that must be hung in this on this piston and that will create a pressure of 50 kPa uh, under all circumstances. So it's a very simple problem if you know how to use the free body diagram but if you go into the hey temperature is given somehow i go to use the temperature and you go into ideal gas equation of state you will be in a in a in a no win situation so sometimes it's important to get to the simplest concept that will get you to the answer and in thermodynamics in any force balance problem you've got to start with free body diagram